Hey everybody, I'm Buck Weezer and welcome to today's video from Buck's Small Engine DIY. Here in front of us we've got a Craftsman lawnmower, it's the M260. These, uh, these you can buy easily anywhere, the big box stores, Lowe's I think sells them. And this one has a Craftsman engine, sometimes they have Honda engines. Um, it's not a high-end lawnmower. Um, and the problem that we're trying to solve today is that the front drive wheels aren't really working. And I wanted to give you some pointers if you're having trouble with the drive wheels or the drive system. Because it's a self-propelled mower. As you can see it says right there. Front wheel drive FWD, front wheel drive belt self-propelled but it's not working quite right and I wanted to talk you through some of the possible things that could be the problem all right so let me uh, pick up the camera here and show you the first thing to check would be um, first thing to check would be this this engagement bar right here this handle and I've seen this problem where it breaks because it's made entirely out of plastic. So you got this squeezable handle to engage those front wheels. And the mechanism inside here is all plastic. It's got some tightening system. And you follow the cable down. And it comes down to the front. You can pop this cover off. All right, so here's the cable right here. And when you squeeze it, it pulls this gear mechanism in this direction to tighten that belt and to engage the drive. Now, let me uh, squeeze the handle, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well, but watch what happens when I squeeze the handle. All right, you can see the belt on the right there tightens up. I should say the cable on the right tightens up as it pulls the gear mechanism to, toward it. The drive belt going around that pulley tightens up so it will spin it. And that engages the drive mechanism. So I can see right now that there's no problem. This is working as it should. I squeeze the handle, the thing pivots, the belt tightens, the gearbox engages. So that's all good. That's the first thing to check. Another thing I want you to check are these front drive wheels themselves. Now I'm going to take this wheel off and I'll tip you off that I already did that and had an issue to deal with here and I want to point out to you of something here. So I'm just going to set the block of wood under there and spin this off with a 9 16 socket. Don't lose the nut. And this wheel comes off. Now what I want you to look for as you look at these wheels is these this these teeth are all plastic that are in here and it's driven by this metal gear drive so this parts metal that's being spun by the transmission but the teeth themselves on the wheel are plastic and I've seen these completely worn out down to nothing and so there was no engagement of the gear with the wheel so you want to check that this one is just fine if yours are all worn down, and I've seen them just completely worn down, uh, you can get new wheels. Uh, you can replace these wheels, not too expensively, 15 or 20 bucks a piece maybe. But these seem fine. But what I will tell you is, uh, prior to starting the, turning on the camera, earlier I'd taken this wheel off and it was all completely encrusted in here with mud. I don't know exactly what they did, but perhaps they were using this and they got caught up in mud and so these grooves were all completely filled in with grass and dr dried mud and dirt and I took an awl and a screwdriver and cleaned them all out so you want to check for that too but now everything seems clean these teeth are not worn down I'm going to put it right back on and that's not a problem but I've seen them totally stripped out so you definitely want to check that. The next thing to check is this gearbox itself. The way it works is when the 
when the handle is squeezed up by the, on the bar, and I'm going to squeeze that now and use a clamp to hold it in place. So our gear is now engaged. When this pulley spins, driven by this belt, it in turn turns your wheels. So we're going to test to see if this gearbox mechanism is working correctly. So I'm going to remove this pulley and move the belt out of the way, and then we're going to turn it with a drill and see if our front wheels turn. So once again, I'm going to prop up the front of the lawnmower with a block of wood. And we're going to take off this top nut. It's a two-piece pulley. I'm going to use a screwdriver to hold the pulley stationary. And we can pull the nut off. Okay. Then the top pulley comes off. And we can move the belt out of the way. We're just going to push it out of the way for now. I'll put this back on. Again, we're just testing that this, this gearbox. I've got the handle squeezed, and so it should be engaged. And now I want to see if the front wheels turn. We're going to use the drill. We're going to use the drill to spin that pulley and see if our front wheels turn. So keep an eye on the front wheels. Okay, they're, they're turning. See that? So our gearbox is working exactly as it should. That's not the problem. Now notice I just released the clamp. So it's no longer engaged. I spin the pulley now. Nothing happens. But with the handle squeezed up here, the gearbox is properly engaged. That's working just as it should. So after those first initial tests check out fine, I want to replace the belt. I think the belt's probably just a little bit worn out, especially if it had gotten hung up in the mud. And uh, so I, I just think that last thing to check is that belt and I'm going to go ahead and actually replace it. So I'll show you how to do that. First step we've already done in taking the belt off of the pulley. Now I'm going to put the lawnmower up on the workbench where it will be easier to get underneath the, the lawnmower and do the rest of the work. Okay, I have the mower up on the workbench and I hope you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to zoom in on the underside of the mower and what we're going to do next is take off the uh, blade, which we can do with a 5-8 socket and our small impact here. Okay. Next is this plastic cover which covers our belt and it's held on with one, two, three-eighths bolts. So we can take them off pretty easily. I hope you can see what I'm doing. This guy right here. And this guy right here. And you can take him down. Like so. And this guy serves as a belt keeper. You see these metal posts? So sometimes uh, putting the belt on or off is easier if you put the belt under tension by squeezing the handle. Um, but our belt's already loose because we loosened it on the front pulley. So now I should be able to pull the belt out because we already have it removed from our front pulley. And there it is. Honestly, this doesn't look too bad to me, but it might be a little bit worn out and I think a new belt will 
help everybody feel a little bit better. So the, re the installation is just the reverse of that. It's a 21 inch belt. It's 3 eighths by 21. And uh, I'll leave a, a link in the description where you can pick one of those up easily on Amazon. And I'm going to slide it through here, kind of fish it through there like the old one was. And I'll make sure it's, it's actually come through. So we're going to we're going to do the uh, side under the deck first and then we'll lower the mower again and do the around the pulley. So again, this is the belt keeper. So it goes on a lot easier if we squeeze these together or, or have the belt tight like that. So he's up in place and then it's our Our 3 8 bolts that hold that cover in. it just to make it a little bit more snug all right now we can put the belt back up I mean the blade back up I think that's good to go. Let's set it back down on the ground for the for the uh, rest of the belt installation. All right. Once again, I'm going to take off this top pulley, the half inch socket, and I'll hold it the pulley stationary with the uh, screwdriver. Now these belt keepers might come off if you pull them out of their sockets, but I don't think I really need to. I'm just going to fish the belt under there. That the handles the handle is not squeezed right now, so this is not engaged or under tension. So the belt's loose, and we feed this guy back on like that. And the nut. I think that's tight enough. All right, so I think we got it on there. And so we squeeze the handle, belt tightens, gearbox engages, and we should go, be good to go with the new belt. Just can pop our cover back on. And we'll fire it up and see how it operates. business 
Okay, that's it. The ground drive system is working a lot better now, I think, with the new belt and the other steps we took to uh, get it back in shape and good running condition. Um, this is the same for any, you know, Craftsman M260 or lots of other lawnmowers that operate on the exact same principles. And it wasn't a hard job at all, and I think that new belt will uh, serve the owner of this tractor, I mean, lawnmower, uh, pretty well. What do you think? like to see hear your comments and questions in the discussion below and uh appreciate you watching it's a spider have a great day everybody and i will see you on the next video bye bye